The first step for sewing the bag is to sew the strap. So you're going to sew one narrow end together with the fabrics good to good. Line them up against a 15. Put the foot down, making sure there's at least a centimeter of fabric underneath the foot. Put the needle down, making sure it's going into fabric. Press on the foot pedal and sew a stitch or two. Then hold the reverse button and reverse back three to four, but not off the edge of the fabric. Then sew the fabric forward, stopping to remove pins. Sew to the end, slow down near the end, reverse back three to four stitches and then forward without sewing off the edge. Lift the needle, lift the foot, pull the threads, cut them short at the fabric, long for the machine, cut the original threads, and now you're ready to bring this to the steamer. To press the strap, first you'll press that seam open and flat, and then you're going to press each long side over one centimeter. So you can eyeball it or use a seam gauge or both. So you'll press one long side over one centimeter and then the other long side over one centimeter. And when you're finished, there should be fabric between the two folded over edges and then you're going to fold those in half. So one folded edge will meet the other. And when you're finished, you should have a nice, even looking strap that you'll now bring to your machine to sew. Before you sew the strap, you may want to consider removing the metal foot. Making sure the foot is up, press the red button at the back. The metal foot should fall off. Put it in the bin so you don't lose it. And attach a clear plastic foot. Lower the foot over the metal bar so it attaches. And then when you go to sew the strap, it's too small to sew against a 15. So you're going to line up that open folded edge against the inside edge of that plastic foot. Put the foot down, making sure when you put the needle down it's going into fabric. And you're going to sew close to the edge. So sew a stitch or two, reverse it back three to four. And then just sew that entire strap close to the folded edge so that it won't be able to open up. You're sewing it shut. When you get close to the seam where you join the two straps together, slow down and you may want to grab the other end of the strap and pull slightly. It's a bit thicker where that seam is, so to get through that thicker part, just pull the strap slightly. And when you finish, you can continue. And now I'm approaching the end, I slow down a bit, reverse back three to four stitches and back to the end. It's a good idea now that you will have cut your threads to bring this back to the steamer and press the entire strap flat and then you're going to take a safety pin, a, a large safety pin, open it, pick up at least a centimeter of fabric making sure you're putting in the pin backwards so that you, the end you're going to pull is the end that won't open.